Well, hello everyone. My name is Miss Charity here with Girls Inc. of Memphis. Today we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, coins, 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 coins. We're going to be talking about the weight, um, the value, who's on them, heads or tails, and things of that nature. So just stay tuned and I look forward to us interacting with each other when it comes to the value of a coin. So before we jump right in, you know I always got to tell you what material you're going to need, ladies. So magnifying glass. You will need at least one of each coin. So a penny, <laughs> a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter, as well as pencil or pen, pencil, <laughs> and some paper, because we will be doing just a little writing, um, not too much, but just a little. So, scroll down. Okay. So, before we get started, I'll give you a few few seconds to get your, get your coins, gather your coins, ma'am. Gather your coins, ladies. Um, so, just give you a few. So, we're going to start off with talking about the value of the coins. Because I know I just heard Miss Cherry to give you the name of each one, but we're going to talk about the value now. So, the first one is the penny. So, before I say it, Comment below and tell me what you think the value of a penny is. All right, all right. Good guesses, good guesses. All right. I see some correct answers. All right, ladies. All right, I see y'all. I see y'all. I know what the value of a penny. So a penny is worth one cent. So one cent, those who have it, those who didn't, you know now. Now you know. So the next one is the oh, I'm sure I'm stop that. And the next one is a nickel. Everybody see it? See it? And then we're gonna go into more details later on when we pull out our handy dandy magnifying glass. So we have the nickel, which is worth five cent. Five cent. Next up we have our dime. Our dime, dime, dime. And our dime value is ten cent. Next, we have our quarter, and our quarter is worth 25 cents. So, again, we're going to do a recap. Y'all might want to write those down. Um, now, I'll write them as well so we can write them together because we will have an exit out little, little segment, and you will need to know those values um, to do your exit out segment. So, you might want to write them down, so I'll write them down with you. I wrote them down. You know. Everybody see it? Got it? Feel free to take a screenshot if you're on your phone. So make sure you do keep those nearby, ladies, because we're going to need those um, later on. So now that we've done that, we're going to talk about the weight of them. So each one has a different weight um, because they're a different size. So, you know, size and weight. Um, makes a difference. So we'll start. So we'll start with the biggest one. So the biggest one will be the quarter, which it has a weight in grams of five point two six. So weight of a quarter, you know, got a little weight, got a little weight on it, is five point two six. So then we'll go 
to the next biggest, which will be the nickel. And the nickel is five even, ladies. Five even. So we got quarter again, 5.67. And then our nickel is just five even. I mean, this is in, um, this is in grams. Remember that. Remember that's in grams. So next we have our, uh, yeah, penny. Next we have our penny, which is 2.50. So remember, 5.67, 5 even, 2.50, and here am I missing, missing the dime, and then 2.27. So, so now we've talked about the value, We've talked about the name, um, and we've talked about the weight. Now, um, in the comments below, before we go into some more, you know, we pull out our magnifying glass. Tell me about a time where you've used coins. So I'll wait, give you a few, you know, comment below. Give about two minutes to comment below. And then I'll share a time where I've used coins. So, again, comment in the comment box. Let me know. All right, all right. Yes, y'all using coins all the time. I like that. I like that. All right. Okay. So, for me, I use coins um, at my corner store by my house, where I buy my uh, fruit snacks buy my chips, my jungle juice, things of that nature. So I'm always like, oh, you see it, um, 108. I grab my little, grab my coins together, um, and I make sure I give them 108. So next, scroll down. Who's played the game Heads or Tails? Okay. Seems pretty simple, right? So, heads of a coin is when you see the face. Make sure it's not. Okay, it's when you see the face. That's heads. And then tails is the opposite side where you, oh, I think I got it. Oh, I did have upside down. Sorry. It's where you see the opposite side of the head. So, with your coin, we're going to play play a little quick little game of heads and tails. You know, get us up and move. We've been sitting down for a little. So now we're going to get up. Everybody stand. So how, how this game works is you're going to, me and you, we're going to pick which one. So um, we'll either say heads or tails. So I'm going to pick head. So since I picked head, you got a tail. So when I flip it, Catch it and look at it. Whichever one is facing up wins. Everybody get it? Everybody get them a buddy, get them a neighbor. Get them a buddy, get them a neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> and then we'll go from there just to get us up and moving, interacting with our coin. So it don't matter which one you grab. Just remember the face, the face is head. And then the opposite side of the face is tail. So get your neighbor, get your buddy. Or you can even play uh, against yourself uh, to see, you know, Test your luck. It's all about looks and probability. So you got um 50-50 chance of flipping the right side. So again, I picked head. So take it, flip it, and let's see if I was right. And, and it landed on tail. So I wasn't right, ladies. So it's just, you know, make, you know, learn about coins fun, make it interactive, turn stuff into a game, things of that nature. So Good with that one. So now, so now we're gonna go into details of what exactly is on these coins. Cause you know, each coin has a different face on them. Um, so let's uh, dive deeper into who face is on which coin. 
So let me have all my hands together. Line them up. Okay. So which one y'all want to start with? The lowest value or the highest value? Highest value. All right. We can do that. Which is the quarter. That's right. Okay. I see y'all paying attention. I love it. Love it. So we're going to take our magnifying glass and it's okay if you don't have one. You know, got eyes. You know, just bring the look close to you. You know, same thing. So we gonna we gonna start off with heads. So we do we'll do heads on each side of the coin, and then we'll flip it over and do tails on each side. So first one, doing heads. So we just look. Okay, I'm seeing a face. I'm seeing some words. I'm seeing a letter. I'm seeing the name of it. All right. So, who can guess the name this of the person, the name of the person who's on the quarter? I will wait. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I see y'all been y'all 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 had my uh session outline with y'all because y'all answering so quick. Yes, that is right. It is George Washington, the first who no uh president. Good answer, good answer. Next, we'll go with the dime. Let's look at the dime. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay, as well as the face. Who can tell me what it says on here? So it's it's words on here. So we have liberty. And then what else we have? We have in God we in God we trust. So who can tell me the face that's on here? I didn't drop my drop my. So you're right. It's Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd um, president. So we got Franklin D. Roosevelt on the dime. So next we have the nickel, the nickel. So let's, let's zoom in and see what we have. All right. Again, it's the same, the same two words I saw, which is in God we trust, in liberty. And then we have the year. So I wonder, y'all know what, what maybe the year represents on the on here? Because, you know, all of them have different years on there. So if anybody, you know, maybe want to take a guess at what they think the year might mean on the coins. I'll give you a few, few, few seconds. And then anybody have noticed any letters on here? So there are either two letters on each coin. It's either a P or D. And the P stands for Philadelphia. So my, I need my magnifying glass. Maybe. Give me a second. Okay. So. I have a P on my quarter. Let me see, do I have it on my other quarter as well? Nope, okay. So each quarter or nickel dime could be from either two locations. It could either be from D, which is Denver, which um, is on my nickel, or it'll be P, Philadelphia, which is on my quarter. And then all your coins won't be the same because even when I was looking at this quarter, um, this one has a D for Denver, and then my other quarter has a has a P for Philadelphia. So, should have either or. So, you know, just a little, you know, when you're um, using your magnifying glass or your eyes, um, looking close. And then, All right. So we still got to name some more coins. We didn't finish, so we just did 
the quarter, which was George Washington. We did the dime, which is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Now we on the nickel and the penny. So the nickel is look. Remember we're looking at the the heads or the front. Okay. So we got, you know, again, we got thank God we trust, liberty. We have uh, which either letter, the D or the P. And then we have the face. And then this face is Thomas Jefferson, which is the third president. So we got, we learning so much so fast. We learning the value, learning the name, learning the weight. We learning the faces that's on each one. We learned that it was either um, made in Denver, well, created, we created made um, in either Philadelphia or Denver, different, um, different ones. And then we have the penny, the penny, penny, penny. And then the penny is, yeah, looks a lot to me like Abraham Lincoln, which was the 16th president. So y'all, if I'm going too fast, just let me know. Um, um, you can always um, re-watch it. Um, that way you can, you know, pause and take notes. Um, leave any comments or anything below. Um, let me know if you learned anything new, things of that nature. Okay. So now we're going to line them up and look at the size because we, we felt the weight of them. Now we're going to uh, look at the size. So we just line them up. So it can be in the frame. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're looking at the size. As you can see, the mute that. Sorry about that. As you can see, the size doesn't always mean it's going to be a higher value because some of them are big in size, but. Um, some are um, more in value, so such as the dime. The dime is small. Is no, re let me reword that. The nickel is bigger in size than the dime, but the dime has more value. So keep that into perspective. Um, that sometimes though things might be bigger. That doesn't mean it has more or less value. Uh, but in money, bigger doesn't always mean more value. All right, let me scroll down. Let's see over here. So how are you feeling about coins? Um, Feel like you've learned something, um, is something you could take away. Tell me how you feel it. All right. All right. All right. All right. That is true. And you know, sometimes your um your coins can be a little bent up. And that also means um, nothing. Because even though my coin can be bent up or dirty, it still has the same value. So don't you know, toss it to the side or try to give it away just because it can be a little dirty. So there's a good point that even if it is dirty, messed up, it still has the same value. Okay, now we're going to talk about um, close-up with the coin. So, what's one thing that you learned about coins today? All right, all right. I like that. So, how do you think people 
are chosen to have their picture on the coin. Because, you know, it's so many other presidents. So what, what do you think of why certain presidents were chosen to be on the coin? So who have heard of two women being on coins? Yeah, we actually have some coins with women on there. Which is our um, gold dollar coin. Don't have one today. Um, but I can um, definitely leave it in the comments for you all. Um, a picture of it. As well as our golden um, so our dollar coin and then our golden dollar, um, both are the same value. Both have women on there. Okay. Think about famous people. So what famous person would you like to have their picture on a coin? So anybody in the world face would you like to have on a coin so if i could pick i would say tyra banks um i would love to have her on a coin i love how um she's so impacted into the community i like she's a mogul um and i could just really just relate to her in so many ways so i would love to have tyra banks on a coin and then if you could design a coin, what would it look like? I know design, right? So that's what we're going to do right now in this moment. You thought I was just going to have you just write that down and I come back to it? No, ma'am. So get your, get, your, get your pen, get your pencil or your paper, and we're going to design a coin. So I'm going to give you. Two to three minutes to just design one really quickly. Nothing. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right and then feel free um if you didn't get enough time um take a picture and put it in the comments so here is mine you know that's that's my tire banks <laughs> okay so next up we're gonna do the coin line up so with the coin line up We're going to get the, to, to doing some counting with the coins. Oh, I guess I have to go. I'm not scraping. Okay. It's going to do some counting with the coin. So, each one has a value. And we're going to use these to uh, make different values. And then I'm also going to be using my counting money. So, if you have some more um, coins... I'm going to, at this time, go get them because we'll be needing them to count and do some coin lineups. Some little simple math. Then we're going to do our exit out. So I'll give you two minutes to go. Get that, and then we're going to go back. So, 
We're going to do a quick recap. We're going to do just two counts. Um, see how that goes. And then uh, we're going to do our exit out. So let's do our recap. So a penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth ten. And a quarter is worth 25. So how this exercise goes is we're going to take a number and then we have to make it out of coins. And there's no right or wrong uh, when it comes to which coins you use to make the value as long as the value is correct. For example, if we were making, um, if I said make the value um, of five cents. So option one would be just grab a nickel. Hey, Miss Charity, um, I used a nickel for my five cents. I'd be like, awesome sauce. Or someone could say, Miss hey, Charity, I used five pennies to get my value of five cents. Both answers are correct because the thing was to get five cents, but we just went down, uh, we just used two different paths to get to the same um, answer. So, everybody ready? If you're ready, go in the comments and say, I'm ready, Miss Charity, bring it on. Say, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, the first one is, Make 10 cents. So make the value of 10 cents. And there are, what, three, four different ways. So I'll give you a hint. There are four different ways. Make sure that's, I believe so. Yep, there are four ways. I just double check with myself. So there are four ways. So I give you a little time. And then we're going to go over all four ways that we can make the value of 10 cents. All right. So first, one way would be two nickels. Everybody wrote down two nickels. Yay, yay, yay. The next one could be just handing over a dime. 10 cent, there you go. The next one could be five pennies. And one nickel, because you know sometimes we ain't got, got two nickels, we gotta, use, we gotta use these pennies. So we got five pennies and then one nickel. And then last could be using 10 pennies. And get us. See, four ways we all um, could have picked to get that same one. So, you know, feel free to mix and match um, different values to get what you need when it comes to um, giving somebody, giving somebody change or, you know, giving somebody money or somebody giving you money, you know, you know. Okay, the next one, 25 cents. So many different ways to do 25 cents. I'm not even gonna give you a hint this time. I just wanna see um, which ways that you would make the value of 25 cents. And remember, um, 25. So I give you a few. So feel free to, you know, put it on pause uh, while you think of it. Uh, write it down.
And there's so many ways to make 25 cents. All right, you ready? All right. So in the spirit of four, I'm just going to do four um, for today. So we have quarter, two dimes, and a nickel. We have nickels. We can use a five. 10, 15, 20, 25, which is five nickels. Or we can use pennies. We can use 25 pennies to make it. All right. I know you're wondering, you know, what my exit is, um, just so I know, you know understood everything and that you'll be ready for our next activity so think about your age right now whether that's five whether that's ten whether that's seven almost nine because your birthday is coming up this summer um or even older such as myself what i want you to do is take your coins and make the value of your age so, if you're eight, make eight cent. If you're nine, make nine cent. You're gonna go from the side. I give you a few times. So, you know, write down your age. Maybe you need a visual. And then figure out which coins you're gonna use to make your value. I give you about 20 seconds um, to think of that. And then we'll, we'll share. So, I think sounds fair to me. I mean, it sounds fair to you. <laughs> All right. So, y'all ready? All right. I'm going to clear my space. And I don't have too much going on. Y'all be like, ooh, this series. Oh, she got a lot of coins. Okay. So, what I've decided to do for mine is to use two dimes, a nickel, and a penny. So, two dimes, a nickel, and a penny represents Miss Charity age. So, how old is Miss Charity? Let's see. So, remember, our dime is worth 10 cents. So, that's 10. We have two dimes for Miss Charity. So, 10 plus 10, 20. So, then Miss Charity wanted to add a nickel to it. So, we were already at 20. Now, we're adding the value of a nickel, which is? Five, so we have 10, 20, plus five, 25. Then Miss Charity wants to add a penny to the mix. Yep, that's one cent. So, five, so that's 10, oh, it's not even in the frame, so sorry. Yep, so then we have 10, 20, 25, 26. So Miss Charity is 26. So, Write down uh, which coins you use um, in the comment box. Let me know what the value think all those is and then tell me your age. Um, so we can see, you know, which ones you use because just because someone else um, might be the same age as you, they might use different coins to get that same number that you did. So that'd be a good way so you can see how different coins can make up the same value because there's so many different ways. I could have made 26. But I just chose um, one of the many ways. Alrighty. So in closing, um, as you're beginning to get more coins, um, you're beginning to um, 
see the true value of, you know, I'm giving this to someone in exchange for this or someone's requesting this amount. Um, you'll have more confidence, hopefully, after today with the value of something. Um, learning that there's different ways to make coins. Um, definitely share your experiences now that we've had this segment together. Um, how uh, you've used what we've done today. Um, did you learn anything new? Um, was it just a refresher of what you already knew? Um, maybe teach someone else. Um, one way to make things um, stick is, you know, share with somebody what you learned on today. Um, maybe uh, get with your family and say, hey, let's take some coins out and let me show you what I've learned. And, you know, y'all just keep playing and then making it more complex, just um, getting, pe getting more people engaged with what you're doing. So again, I look forward to hearing um, your stories about, you know, how this exercise was uh, like for you, as well as make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Bold Futures uh, 901. Um, definitely comment below to let me know how the experience went for you. And again, remember the value of the coins, ladies. Have a great one. Bye.